What is up guys, Nico here and I am here in my cousin's farm in Cavite and I thought of, you know, what, you know, better way to start New Year by creating a video for the channel and for today, I'm going to talk about the Mantis Pod. Alright, so before I dive into, you know, the features of the PGY Tech Mantis Pod, I just want to give you know, a brief background of the tabletop tripods or the vlogging tripods that I've used. This type of tripod is, I think, my favorite. The one I have right now is the Joby HandyPod, but this is also similar to my Manfrotto Pixie Mini. The reason why this is my favorite type of tabletop tripod or vlogging tripod is because of this quick release button right here where you just click and you could adjust the ball head right away or once you release it's in place all ready so you know it is so convenient to use click move it adjust and it's there the problem with this and my pixie mini is that it cannot hold the weight of my current setup which is an a7s3 and whatever lens I have on, you know, it just moves. The, the ball head just moves because of the weight of my camera setup. Now, because of that weight problem with my Manfrotto Pixie Mini, I had to switch to the switch pod. Yes, I just did that, you know, script that phrase. Yeah, I know it's corny, but yeah, I had to switch to the switch pod because you know, number one, it's unique. I wanted to try the product because they always said that, you know, it's uh, made by creators for creators. It's uh, specifically made for vloggers with its ergonomics, but also based on the reviews, I am sure that it can handle the A7S III. So at the start of 2021, after I got, you know, my A7S III, I ordered a switch pod from b &H and you know, I loved it. I really love the ergonomics. It's so easy to use and I stick with this switch pod for a long time. Now, I loved using the switch pod so much, especially because of its ergonomics. I could actually uh, vlog without really stretching out my hand and still get a very, very comfortable wide view with my setup and also for those situations where i need you know a higher setup without actually bringing a, a full-size tripod the switch pod has been clutch but that same reason is one of the things i don't like about it there is no way to make it lower so for those times where i needed to put down my setup on the table like i don't know when you're eating family dinner uh, it's either I just put it down on the floor or I just keep it completely because unless you want to, you know, put your camera set up sideways with a tripod, which again takes a lot of space, uh, there is no way for it to be, you know, non-intrusive. Let me show you. So imagine this is the switch pod. This is my, well, technically this is my Joby Handy Pod, but pretend it is the Pixie Mini. This is how high it is. This is how high the switch pod is plus the camera this is a pretty high setup when you are in a dinner situation and that is where the mantis pod comes in now this is the height comparison of the switch pod and the mantis pod you now as you can see this is my issue when putting it down on tables when I am in family dinners or any other function. As you can see in tripod mode, the Mantis Pod is much, much smaller than the Switch Pod. But let me just put this down. Now, the Mantis Pod actually has a low mode, which you cannot do on the Switch Pod. Switch Pod has one height, that's it. The PGY Tech Mantis Pod, you could uh, put it in a lower profile tripod style and this you do by actually pushing this button this one can you see it this button and adjusting you know the legs to fold either higher 
like this. There. Or if you want it low, press it again and just, you know, there you go. All right, now to give you a comparison, this is the size comparison of the Handy Pod, the Mantis Pod, and the Switch Pod. So as you can see, the Switch Pod is very, very tall compared to the two, and the Mantis Pod just sits in between those two tripods that I have been using. Now, this is the Switch Pod when it is folded up. To put this into tripod mode, you will just have to open these two legs up, and there you go. You've got a tripod already. Now, you have this big button here. I don't know if you can see it. There you go, big button, wherein when you press this, you could actually move this uh, part here where you know it holds the camera. And this somehow gives me the flexibility of you know the Manfrotto Pixie Mini or the Joby HandyPod, although it doesn't control the ball head, it gives you at least a quick adjustment to you know the tilting, like the front and back of your camera. Now, aside from that, you also have this uh, adjustment thingy, wherein if you loosen this up, I don't know if you see it, this part rotates. So if you know you like to pan your camera then this is what you should where is it oh here this is the one you adjust loosen it up you could already rotate this part you want that um, angle already then just tighten it back up and there you go so you already have two uh, types of adjustment for your camera angle but those are not the only ways you could adjust if you still want the flexibility of the ball head, then you could just uh, release this lever and you can adjust this, you know, traditional ball head style where you rotate it wherever you want your camera to face. Take note though that the Mantis Pod has two versions, the Mantis Pod and the Mantis Pod Pro. This is the Mantis Pod Pro. You get this ball head type of mount. The Mantis Pod, the non-pro version, you just get, you know, uh, like an Arca Swiss type without the ball head. So just a note when buying your version of the Mantis Pod. Now speaking of the ball head, now speaking of the ball head of the PGY Tech Mantis Pod, it actually comes with PGY Tech's snap lock system. So this is the snap lock system if I could snap it out. You've got this snap lock mount. Let me just show it to you. So this is the mount, the snap lock mount that comes with it. It is um, Arca Swiss uh, mount compatible. So I've actually tried to use it with other Arca Swiss mounts. But what's good with this is that it is so quick and easy to get in your setup. Now, as you can see, this is a snap lock system. This is the plate that comes with it and you just push it down. There you go. Your camera is in and you need to actually press this down if you want to take it out. Now, aside from this button, you've got another safety feature, which is this lever. When you lock it, you wouldn't be able to press this release button. So your camera is mounted safely in this snap lock system. I've posted on Instagram how much I love using the Mantis Pod to the point that you know I was thinking of already selling my Switch Pod. So for those of you who are in the same boat, I'm going to show you some vlogging tests, especially how I hold my camera setup, the tripod. Uh, you no know, comparison between the Switch Pod and the Mantis Pod, and you know, for you to see which one would suit you better. All right, so I am currently at 17 millimeters. I am using the Mantis Pod. I don't know if you see it. So I am you know, not really clipped elbows. I'm a little bit, you know, reaching out. And this is how I should hold it if I want to have this frame where I'm centered, you know, comfortably, comfortably wide angled view. So here, that is how I hold the Mantis Pod. 
All right, so now I am currently on the switch pod. Now with the switch pod, my elbows are actually clipped. I do not have to reach out that far to get this angle. I think this is the same angle, if I'm not mistaken, with, you know, earlier when I was using the Mantis pod. But as you can see, it gives you more distance with this part of the tripod and you don't have to reach out that much when it comes to your arm. Although you don't have to reach out that much, the switch pod is much, much heavier than the Mantis pod. So in that sense, I think it's not that much of a big deal if, you know, you have to reach out with the Mantis pod as opposed to, you know, with your clipped elbows with the switch pod. And I'm hearing a golf cart behind me. And of course, one advantage that the Mantis pod has over the switch pod is, you know, one clue is it's in the name, is this hook right here like you know making it look like a praying mantis wherein you could hook this somewhere and lean these two legs uh, on a surface and you could actually hang this tripod as you saw in the intro of this video and you know be creative with the shots that you can take so you can hang it like this let me just pick there you go Hang it like this and lean this on, you know, a surface or how I did it earlier was, you know, much more compressed like this. So that's an advantage of the Mantis pod over the Switch pod. Another thing that is hidden in this part aside from this Mantis pod leg is this um, phone mount where you know it's so convenient that you don't actually have to bring it separately because it is in the tripod itself and what is good about this uh, phone mount is that it uses the same snap lock system of PGY Tech so it's also a quick release type of system with your switch pod and with all of those things that I discussed I think for me, it's pretty clear that I am going to be using the Mantis Pod as my main vlogging tripod, tabletop tripod, uh, travel tripod. So, yeah. Now, the question is, you know, will I sell my Switch Pod? Uh, I actually use it in one situation wherein when I am teaching in Zoom because it is the perfect height. Uh, but, you know, there are workarounds for me to use this. Uh, in the same situation, you know, you just put something under the tripod to raise it up. So yeah, I think the switch pod will have a new owner this year because this is going to be my main tripod. So one more advantage of the Mantis pod over the switch pod is you can actually have a wider angle of view or a farther to this setup I am uh, showing you right now. And this is by using the extended mode of the Mantis pod. Let me show you how it goes, guys. Oh, it's windy, it's windy. So first open this flap right here, and you will see this area right here. Now loosen this uh, mount here. So let me show you. After you've loosened it, you just release this this will come off and you will put it here in this part sorry <laughs> reverse there and tighten it by screwing it to tighten it now again use these buttons to release this and there you go now you have a farther setup, although I don't use it as much because I'm scared that, you know, this puts more pressure on these joints uh, when it's farther, although it can handle a setup like this, like the A7S3. And as you can see, this is a very, very wide angle view, more of like, you know, mimicking a 12 millimeter angle lens. So 
extended tripod mode. So if you are still here, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this whole video. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, I'd highly appreciate it too if you hit that like button. Also, if you like content like these uh, reviews of camera gear, uh, camera accessories, and you know, vlogs where I use these things that I talk about, then please consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button, and the bell notification icon so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!